This is the story of Father Francis L. Sampson, chaplain, 501st Airborne, most decorated chaplain in the United States Army. Glory, glory, why to die? Glory, glory, what a way to die. Glory, glory, what a way to die. And he ain't gonna jump no more. You, your name and rank? Corlett, Ralph, Lieutenant Colonel, U.S. Army. Colonel, I overheard the language you used at the mock-up tower in addressing Corporal James while he was examining you for injuries after your jump. Sergeant, if I may, I... Just a moment, Colonel. As instructors, we outrank you in this paratrooper course. Well, Sergeant, if you'll just... Just let me finish, sir. We're not trying to be rough, but there are certain requirements that have to be met in the airborne, irrespective of rank. I think you owe Corporal James an apology. Corporal James, I apologize for language unbecoming an officer of the United States Army. Apology accepted, Colonel. What I was trying to say, Sergeant, is Corporal James was due an apology even without your reprimand. Very well, sir. And thank you for the serve. Okay, Colonel. Private Claffey, 25 push-ups for unwarranted belligerence towards Private Buckley during instructions from the jump master. Right here, Sergeant. Here, Claffey. With which hand, Sergeant? 25 with the left and 50 with the right. Father Sampson, today in the landing trainer, you dropped your risers. I'm sorry, Sergeant. You will do eight laps holding those risers aloft and shouting to everyone, I'm a bad chaplain, I drop my risers. Now, Sergeant? Now, chaplain. I'm a bad chaplain, I drop my risers. I'm a bad chaplain, I drop my risers. Uh, I'm a the bad chaplain. chaplain. Dismissed. That's about it, chaplain. But I've only started. You know, I can't figure you. Are you counting on flying to heaven on paratrooper wings? I'll get there any way I can, Mouse. But I hope the Lord isn't as hard to please as you are. Is that supposed to be a joke? If you're here to save souls, we got one who sure can use some saving. You mean yours, Sergeant? Mort Claffey. Maybe you can help him, Father. Just between us, he's a rehab. He's mad at the world. Maybe you can get it through his head that the only thing we want him mad at's the enemy. What have you got against him? Carl Ward, the piano player? All right, I'll tell you. This morning, while the jump master was yakking, he was standing right next to me, humming. Over these prison walls, I would fly. Mort, not one of these boys knows about your background. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? In my book, a lie's a sin, Mort. You've got to stop being so quick with your fists. You're trying to fight the whole world. That's the only book I know, Chaplain. So you know where I went to school, huh, Chaplain? Well, it wasn't the Ivy League like you and Buckley. But you had a team, didn't you? Didn't you all try to pull together? Listen, team or no team, anybody does anything to me that I don't like, I'm gonna let them have it. What, do I gotta like all these guys? No, there was nothing that said so when I joined the Army. Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you, Morton. Now, don't start bringing in the Bible, Chaplain. Look, these guys, they don't like me, I don't like them. There's nothing in your Bible that's gonna change that. Come on, let's listen to the music. Now I can hear all right without moving a step. Mort, whatever you've done in the past is paid for or you wouldn't be here. Now, you gotta try to wipe it out of your mind. Yeah? When guys like your Oki piano player keep bringing it up? There's only one person in this outfit who's concerned with your past, Mort. His name's Mort Claffey. Now, come on. Let's join the boys. I told you, Chaplain, I can hear right where I am. Okay. We'll have it your way for now. But eventually, I think we'll have it my way. Not mine, really. God's. Anatomy, Medic James. Football, Chaplain Sampson. I expect to make the team when I get through with this outfit. Father? Could I mail those with mine? Oh, thanks, John. Plays a great piano, doesn't he? 
Somehow you just don't connect Bach with a guy from Oklahoma. You know, if Carl Ward gets through this argument, he's going to make the concert stage. Oklahoma, I still can't get over it. You never know where you're going to find greatness, Johnny. Look what came out of Bethlehem. Well, this is your last jump at Benning. If you live through it, you'll be off the camp of call. Okay, stand up. Look up. Keep your hand on the static line just below the snap. Check equipment. Take a good look, will you, Oklahoma? Or do you want me to ask the sergeant? Are you clappy? Scared? I didn't think it possible. No, oh, knock it off. I've had enough of your wisecracks. Calm down. Look, we're all a little scared. Yeah, speak for yourself. Hey, what's going on back there? Sound off. Check equipment. Ten okay. Nine okay. Eight okay. Seven okay. Six okay. Five okay. Four okay. Three okay. Two okay. One okay. Well, this is where you're supposed to have faith, huh, Father? I've got it. Have you, Sergeant? Sure. In the equipment. Are you ready? Hey, let's go. Let's go. Getting better every day, but still lacking that indefinable something that makes an outfit function as a single fighting man. What is wrong? This is my first war, Colonel. Huh. A regiment is like a very delicate machine, Chaplain. When it's functioning properly, every cog is doing the job for which it was designed. But a flaw in one pinwheel, or one man, and blew it. I'm afraid I'm not much of a mechanic, sir. You do know men. I want you to take care of each and every one of my boys. You're going to have to if you stay on my team. Yes, sir. That's all. I thought this outfit was ready. I'd get down on my knees and thank God. Then why not ask for God's help, sir? I'm not a praying man, Chaplain. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Our prayer may exist, but it's yet to be proven to me. Have any objections? None whatsoever, sir. I'd have known I wouldn't get to first base with that one. He knows the score as well as I do. Going overseas was a rumor, a thousand times repeated, but still just a rumor. The 501st hadn't reached perfection. The men still had to be molded into a well-coordinated ground combat team. On went the training, readying the men for what they'd meet on D-Day. What's the matter, Oklahoma? Can't you take it? You lie awake at night, Claffy, figuring out all them nice things to say. That brings to mind a crack you made to me this morning. I can't think of a better place to clear the decks. I think it was that big mouth of yours again. <laughs> have any more cracks about prison guards and walls aimed at me, okay? Aimed at you? I was knocking the army. Everybody knocks the army. Go on, you guys know all about my record. You're trying to rub it in. Sorry, Mort. I had no idea. Now, how about it? Supposing you and I bury the hatchet. Send it back to Oklahoma. Claffy? No, Father. No one you know. Oh, yeah? Someone we know, all right. No one we know, huh? 
You want him with us that bad, Carl? No. But you do. Come in. You sent for me, Father? Yes, Mort. Sit down, please. At Benning, you told me you didn't want me to ring in the Bible on you. We're at Camp McCall All now. right, skip it, Padre. So Carl told you I beat him up. Matter of fact, he told me I didn't know the person who did that job. He was right, Mort. I don't know you. I'm afraid I never will. I'm expecting to hear from the sergeant. You won't. Carl's no squealer. Unlike you, he's a peaceable man. And a peaceable man turneth all things to good. He that's discontented and troubled is tossed with diverse suspicions. That's from the Bible. It wasn't too painful, was it? Doesn't sound like Bible talk. Well, it is. And it's the end of the lesson. Mort, you've got a couple of brain cells working, albeit in the wrong way. I just wanted to give him food for thought. You mean I'm not going to get into any trouble? Not unless you bring it on yourself. Well, does that give you an idea how powerful this stuff is? It's known as Primacord. Now, I'll tell you why the demonstration. This is going to be a lesson in booby trapping. Ward, Lamson, Buckley, Parker, into the farmhouse. Now, you rig a piece of primer cord under anything that moves. That goes for chairs, tables, loose floorboards, anything. And I'll show you how to rig the bottles. The Heine specialize in delayed action fuses on bottles. While you're taking a swig, up you go. Or what's left of you. I'll give you ten minutes. Okay, hop to it. Now watch it close. Don't overload. We don't want to kill him. We just want to wake him up. Okay, Claffy, your turn. Step lively. <laughs> Anybody want to bet that Claffy doesn't head straight for that lithograph of Jack Dempsey? Did you load it, Buckley? I sure did. With the delayed action fuse. He's going to be looking at Dempsey, and all of a sudden, he's going to be blown all the way back to reform school. <laughs> hey, Buck, that's a glass frame. Might get his eyes. Clappy, watch out for that glass. Oh! using for booby traps, Sergeant. Landmines or hand grenades? Never mind what I've been using. What about his hands? Someone better call the ambulance. This boy's got to get to the hospital. Is it that bad, Jack? Real bad. Buckley, you booby trapped that picture, didn't you? Yes, Sergeant. With an overload? Yeah. Well, if it was a joke, it wasn't funny. If it wasn't, it could be considered attempted murder. Oh, look, Sergeant. You're Sar restricted to your quarters to further notice. truth to the rumor, Colonel, that we're about to shove off? You just worry about that boy. What about his hands? I think I can save one of them. You've got to save both of them. Science can do only so much, Colonel Johnson. What you're asking would take a miracle. I'm not asking for any miracles. That's the chaplain's job. I want that boy to go with us. We go over. See that he makes it. Very well, sir. One of your boys, isn't he, Chaplain? Yes, sir. You heard what the doctor said. It'll take a miracle. I heard, sir. And I'm sure the Lord did. Oh, uh, I don't think there's anything in the book, 
note, Sergeant, to, to prevent my writing a letter, huh? No, you've been told the limitations of your activities preliminary to court. You see, my situation is going to be something of a shock to my family. I'm, I'm trying to break it to them gently. Mm. What's the news on Carl Ward? Well, uh, Father Sampson should have the latest to be here any minute. Buckley feels like sort of a Benedict Arnold. Well, let's face it, it was only a joke that backfired. This is the Army. We have no time for jokes. My orders were clear. I told you guys not to overload that primer court. He might have killed Claffy. And that would have been a loss. Two-fisted, there has been a troublemaker from the start. You shut up, Parker. Or you'll see that I lose my stripes? Well, take them. You're welcome to them. Ollie's right. The guy that's been the root of all the trouble sits there playing solitaire. Because he doesn't have a friend in the outfit. I say that it's his hand should have been blasted, not Carl Ward's. You be quiet, all of you. Pipe down. Let him talk. Why shut him up? All right, I got a chip on my shoulder. Only it's my chip, it's my shoulder. You guys make anything out of that you want. No time like the present, Claffy. It's open season on rent. You're busted as soon as I can get to the old man. Don't do that, Sergeant. He likes to be corporal. Let's keep him happy. Now, why shouldn't Buckley be in trouble? What, I should face a court? Who will be trapped in picture? Who did what to who? I'll take you all out. That's enough out of you, all of you. Break it up. Save that fight for overseas. Oh, Carl, Father, 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 Father. Tell us about him, Father. It doesn't look good, boys. The doctor says he's going to lose a hand. Just from a little glass? Broken glass can sever tendons and nerves. We won't have definite word until the doctor removes the bandages in about a week or ten days. That's great. We're trying to save a guy that's not worth saving. He's right. Buckley's in trouble and Carl's in the hospital for only one reason. Mort Claffy. Flappy, come in. What for? You heard an order from an officer, Clappy. Obey it. What were you doing in the hospital when Carl Ward was in surgery? That's none of your business. I disagree. Why'd you go to the hospital? I went to see my mother. Why don't you throw the book at him, Sergeant? Yeah, that's insubordination, isn't it? You want me, Chaplain? I'll be playing solitaire. How about it, Father? Is there anything in the Bible that explains why rats are better than people? Clappy's not bad. He's misunderstood. I didn't see any of you boys rushing over to the hospital when Carl was in surgery to offer your blood. Claffy did that? He gave Claffy? blood. That doesn't sound like Claffy. Well, it was Claffy. I was there. Well, we'd all gone if anybody would ask us. Sure. <laughs> Nobody had to ask him. He just went. Mind if I sit down more? It's a free country. I guess poker's out for me. How about a game of gin? Hearts is the best I can do. That's a game I can play. Matter of fact, I'm good. Well, sit down. Let's see how good you are. Mind if I, uh, if I join you? Sit down. Nobody's proud. Father. For you deal, friend. Mm -hmm. Well, chalk up one for the weak side, huh, Father? He'll come around, Mouse. Don't forget he's had that chip on his shoulder all his life. He had to. It was the only way he could get by in the world he was brought up in. Now, if you say so. But what about Carl's hand? He hasn't lost it yet, and he's not going to. Oh, that's right. The colonel ordered you to whip up a miracle, didn't he? Think you can do it, Father? Perhaps. If you'll pray with me, Ma. <laughs> you know what I like about you, Father? You've got a great sense of humor. There he goes. He's walking down the hall. Who's walking oh, down the hall? Good. The doctor, you idiots. Yep. Yeah. He's on his way to Carl's room. He closed the door. Well, what's the word? Well, let's have a look. Hey, here comes Father Sampson. What about it, Father? How is he? It's going to be all right. Give us the truth, Father. No matter what happens, Carl's prepared for it. 
And we've got to be prepared for it, too. You don't sound like you're completely sold on prayer, Father. If it's God's will, the news will be good. It's a matter of faith, Mouse. I happen to have a lot of it. Mort, you and Buckley and I have a lot at stake. If the Lord spares Carl's hands, it'll make our lives easier. You, Mort, because he put his own life in danger to protect yours. You, Buck, because guilt multiplies in the mind and you've got to live with yourself the rest of your days. I'd give anything, Father, anything. Then, then why don't the three of us... No, all of us, if you feel it in your hearts, repeat these words after me. Our Heavenly Father, here we are. Our Our Heavenly Heavenly Father, Father, here we are. are. Your servants from totally different walks of life. Your Your servants servants from from totally totally different different walks of life. United in humble purpose of prayer. United United in humble humble purpose of prayer. Father, grant us thy mercy. Father, grant us thy mercy. Padre, do you really place that much faith in prayer? I place my faith in God, sir. Whatever he wills, I accept. Well, Father Sampson, I guess the good Lord feels the 501st wouldn't be much of an outfit without a piano player. (laughs) At ease. Private Buckley, you will return to active duty. Active duty? Yes. There's another prayer answered. Our order's arrived. This outfit is on the way overseas. Half a victory is better than none, Mouse. Take a look. Your turn next, Sergeant. Colonel Johnson was to lose his life in enemy action, but I'll never forget him. A man who didn't believe in the power of prayer, kneeling in our little chapel. D-Day, June 6th, 1944, when the Allies cast their might in men and arms against Hitler's fortress, Europe. With the eyes of the world on the barges that bravely dared the beaches, the men who pitted their bodies against the deadly fire of Nazi guns. Six hours before the barges hit the beach, paratroopers were winging their way toward Normandy. Brotherhood of man, up, Padre. There is such a thing, Mouse. The French, the Germans, the Russians were all brothers under the skin, huh? That's right. You'll agree someday. You really believe that, don't you? That we're all made in God's image? Yes, Mom. That somewhere there's a German who would lay down his life for the enemy? Yes. Baptist, Methodist, Catholic. We're all trying in our own way to carry the cross. And at the rate that civilization is destroying us, there won't be any cross or anyone to carry it. And who cares? You'll care someday, Mom. Okay, stand up. Look up. Check equipment. Nine okay. Eight okay. Seven okay. Six okay. Five okay. Four okay. Three okay. Two okay. One okay. Two 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 ok
jump was easy, but they landed in the middle of a raging inferno. Pinned down by enemy fire, Mouse and Father Sampson were doing their best to stay alive. This was supposed to be a surprise. I wonder who's surprised. Certainly not the Germans. Move over, Father. How's your head? Oh, it's only a little hole, Father. It's a bad day for the unholy, Mouse. And the holy. Take a look over to your right. Smith, O'Brien, Edmondson. <laughs> you just take yourself a look. I think your god got his attic machine all mixed up today. There's a reason for everything, Mouse. Mm. Well, Padre! It's Mark Allen. Over here, Mark! Keep your head down, Mark, if you figure you need it. You just follow me. We gotta get to that hedgerow. Now, hold it, Mouse. You go save some souls and leave me be. How bad is it, Padre? It isn't good, and I don't know whether I stopped the bleeding. I saw him taking some wounded to a farmhouse over that way. Yeah? Well, I didn't come to France to hang around no farmhouse. There may be a farmer's daughter over there, Mouse. Mouse, don't give me any trouble. Just start crawling. Listen, Padre. I'm no hero, but I'm not chicken either. Sorry, Mouse. It'll be easier on his leg if I drag him. You go ahead, Mark. I can handle it. This is the end of my glorious mission. Slugged in the jaw and dragged out of action by a padre. I think I pulled every angle to get out of Benning. Keep that leg up high, Mouse. Oh. They said they were going to send a doctor. They've had time to get my uncle Rob in Tulsa. Been pretty rough, Father. I wonder if it wouldn't calm me down a little if I could get my hands on that cross up there. Sure, Buck. Here it is. When you're through with it, it's my turn next, huh? Here, Sergeant. You need it worse than I do. No thanks, I'll wait. Johnny's lost a lot of blood. Yeah. He's gotta have a doctor. Red Parker there hadn't moved for quite a while. Padre? Oh, yes, Holly. Do me a favor and look down, will you? Feels like my left leg's gone. It's still there. Where's Butch? Gonna miss a program. Daylight savings on it. It comes on early now. The mortar shell fell right next to him. That you, Butch? Where you been? The cops are about due to close in on that gang tonight. Pretty bad, isn't it? Who Butch is? That's easy. Some two time and blonde that promised to marry him when he came home. And as of this moment, is probably telling some poor chump that he's the only guy she's ever loved. <laughs> it's Sergeant Mouse Morrison speaking, Father. The cynic. Don't give me any of those words you learned at Harvard, boy. Hey, you know what I'm thinking about? Remember those chickens we liberated at McCall? Hey, Fred, remember when Mouse asked if they died of battle fatigue? We were going to barbecue him, remember? He must be in a bad way. Mm. Yeah, he is.
can't understand what's delaying Butch. Easy, Johnny. Easy. We're a long ways from home tonight. Hey, Padre? Yeah, but we'll be all right, Harvey. Now, if the Germans come, don't pull a gun. Don't make a move. Just be quiet. That's a big order, Padre. See that you obey it. I'm going to try to find a doctor. Want me to go with you, Chaplain? No, Mort, I'll, I'll be okay. Oh, Padre. The deal is that if the Germans do come, old Ivy League there is supposed to hold up the cross and say a couple of magic words, and then there'll be peace all over the world. Is that it? Sergeant, I've never pulled rank on you, and I don't intend to now. But you've been on me and the cross and God since our first day at Benning. I want you to stop it. Understand? Yes, sir. And so goes Father Sampson. You could use some of what he's got to sell, Sergeant. Oh? Oh, so now you're a convert, eh, Brooklyn boy? <laughs> well, that wasn't holy water you were drinking that night in North Carolina, was it? Sure, I got drunk. It was the night we thought Carl was going to lose his hands because of that booby trap accident. In which I played the sap. That's ancient history. Forget it. You guys tailor everything to fit the time and the place, don't you? You were drunk as a skunk, Holly, and you were out of bounds, too. Look, Sergeant. You've been out of bounds ever since I've known you. So you don't believe in anything. All right, that's your privilege. Look what I'm holding up. Now let me hear you scoff. I just don't go for his brotherhood of man stuff, that's all. Don't stall. Let me hear you mock the cross. I'm not mocking anything. I just don't go for it. And as you say, that is my privilege. Priest. Priest. Soldaten verbunden. Germans, they got Father Samson. I wondered about you, Cleffy. I wondered whether or not you'd ever fit. You fit, boy. You sure fit. I should get rid of the chip, Sergeant. Come on, I'll get you inside. You tell the gang the chip is... Your trouble, your boys. Right off the farm, right out of school. Let me tell you something. Once you guys get around the bitch, you're gonna find it. Well, bless my soul. Company. Why, you. American wounded, Hans. All watches, guns, money, cigarettes. In the center of the floor. Quick! Sure. Anything you want, brother, just ask for it. There you are. Compliments to the Brotherhood of Man. Now the office, Erich. I thought my last hours would be spent in the company of a few members of the opposite sex. Well, at least in the vicinity. Erich, maybe he talks too much, huh? Yeah. He may be inside, huh? Close your eyes and say your prayers. 
I'll close my eyes. But I'm fresh out of prayers. Now, Hans? No, Eric. <laughs> he thought he was dead. <laughs> he thought he was in heaven. <laughs> He said we're all brothers under the skin, didn't he? Well, I ask you, are they the same as we are? Well, if it isn't the All-American from Ohio State. Skip the football ratings. Who on the bench here is worst off? Well, looks like Johnny and Parker are out of the game for the season. Fred Parker, eh? Well, it looks like he's out of the game for good. Where's Father Sampson, Corporal? He'll be along. All right, who's next? Right over here, Johnny Lampson. Mortar shell. You can tell by looking at the mattress how badly he needs blood. How's it going out there, Bill Roller? Rough. I'm glad we don't have to play this outfit every Saturday. Wasn't that Mort Claffy I saw outside? Yeah. Clappy the rehab. Some Germans cornered Father Sampson, and he went out of here shooting. From a form school to prison to a hero's death. It's quite a war. Corporal, give me a hand, will you? You see where he was, Buckley? It's low, low on the left side. I could swear I'd seen this fellow someplace before. Uh, I thought we came over here to get rid of these guys, not to save their lives. The corporal says it looks bad, Father. It is. But as long as the artillery doesn't use this for a target, we've got a chance. Well, if the orders are to get out of here, how come you're sticking around, Padre? <laughs> That's about as silly as most of the questions I get from you, Mouse. You... Fred. What about Fred Parker, Corporal? Sanctum unction, indosia tibi dominus, quid quid deliquisti. Amen. There you are. You'll be able to fight for the fatherland again in no time at all. Say, I've got you now. You're a dead ringer for a guy who used to play in the backfield for Minnesota. That grease lightning, named Dutch Hendricks. He moved with the speed of light. <laughs> well, that Dutch will kill himself laughing when I tell him about this one. Mouse, did I hear you ask why the Padre didn't get out of here? He volunteered to stay behind. When you finish with the boys, why don't you go, Corporal? You can show me what to do. Father, I made it across that open space once. I wouldn't try it again for a week in Atlantic City with Miss America herself. Father Sampson? Johnny's conscious, but I think he's dying. I, I, I don't need you, Father. I, I went to Holy Communion right before we took off from England. You remember? I remember, Johnny. There is one. There is one thing I wish you'd do for me, though. Yes. Would you, would you write to Butch and, and let her know that that everything was, was all right as far as I'm concerned? And, and I, I think she'd like to hear from to hear from some of the fellows who were with me. Give me your name, Johnny. Full name and address. Poor Butch. What a 
What does she do now? There were four of us, Father. Four brothers. We always called Mom Butch. And it was... It was because... Every time we wanted to... Swing orchestra or a jive band on the radio, she... She, she had to have her gangster programs. I'm the last of the, of the four brothers, Father. We'll write to her, Johnny. Every last one of us. <laughs> How can any one of us write to his mother? Batteries just before we took off. New bow, but a new waterproof case. Do you ever see it fail? You know where I wish the guy was who manufactured this flashlight? Right out there. Anybody got a cigarette? Under ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't share these. Thanks, Corporal. Just because you remind me of the big guy who played left half for Minnesota. Here. Come on, light up. The big boys. They're opening up. Let's get out of here. We have to die this way? Can we do something about it? Yeah. That's what they're opening up on, my flashlight. Well, isn't there a gun in the house? Even a grenade? No. No, the Brotherhood of Man took everything. I'm going. I'm getting out of here. I'm not going anywhere. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Mouse, if this is the end, I've only one regret. That the Lord didn't give me a chance to prove my point. You're a nice guy, Padre. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. And if you don't mind, I'll give you absolution as I give it to the others. Well, I'll take anything that's free, Father. Padre, look! Our Germany's gone! He's trying to put out the light. life for a friend. Well, Marx, there you have it. Hey, gang, we've come for your wounded. Hey, fellas, it's Mark Allen. Hey, let's Mark. go. Hey, Mark, hey, hey, how about that? <laughs> Take him to a chapel just down the lane. Hi, Father. We're sure glad to see you, Mark. Well, come on, let's get the wounded now. Let's, let's go. go. go.
What are you doing, Mouse? Uh, yeah, I was just writing a letter. Do you want to hear how it starts, Potter? Yeah. Dear Butch. You mean you've seen the light, Mouse? I saw it last night in front of a French farmhouse. Father Sampson has been with the Airborne since 1942. He has now had 136 jumps, including combat jumps in Normandy, Holland, and Korea.